Hi YouTube, um, I've got this really nice uh, toucan painting to show you tonight. Uh, it's really bright and colourful and it would sort of liven up any portfolio really. So um, I'm going to show you this uh, step by step because I've taken photos of it um, as I was painting it. Okay, so step one is just a very basic um, pencil outline just to establish the main shape of the bird overall. Okay, the second step of the um, pencil drawing is to um, draw the feather detail, just the main kind of edges of the feathers, um, any kind of detail in the feet, uh, and you can also put this um, plant on the branch as well. Um, and then once you're happy with it, you can darken a lot of your outside edges like I have here. Okay, the next pencil stage is to shade it all. Uh, you could miss this step if you want and just go straight in with the paint, but this is my preferred way of working. So I'll use a 2H pencil um, to shade into all of these uh, areas, into all the dark corners and things. This just gives me um, a very obvious kind of way of, when I come to paint it, knowing exactly where I've got to put the paint. Um, and also I think having the grey underneath just helps a lot of the colours and makes it a bit more realistic looking at the end. Then I also shade the branch and the plant in the same way. Okay, and then we're ready for watercolour. Um, so you can see here I've applied um, yellow. So this is cadmium lemon mixed with um, cadmium yellow medium. Um, and you can see how I've applied it to the chest area and the upper beak. Make sure you leave gaps where I've left gaps that are white on the beak, uh, especially for the blue areas. Um, and then on the branch, I've just used a very light um, wash of uh, raw sienna. Okay, then I've added green to the beak. Um, this is just cadmium lemon mixed with a bit of yellow green. Um, then I've used uh, orange, as you can see there, just to fill the patch in the middle of the beak. Um, and then the blue is cerulean blue, um, which is a very is a blue with a lot of white content in it. Um, and you want to apply that and just slightly blend it up uh, into the green and down into the green on the lower beak. Um, and then I've used a stronger um, raw sienna mix uh, for the um, plant. Okay, the main wash over the um, wing and the rest of the body and the tail of this is um, Payne's Grey mixed with a tiny bit of sepia. Um, and you want to make sure that it's not so dark that you put it over and you lose all the detail of the feathers. It's got to be the right sort of tone, keep it quite pale. Um, then I've used flat areas of red, um, mainly flat apart from uh, on the upper beak where I've just blended it so it leaves a pink highlight patch um, and then I've also added some sap green um, or olive green you could use uh, for the moss on the bottom of the branch uh, and I've started to add darker patches onto the branch um, which is just a bit of sepia in the corners uh, blended down okay at this point I decided to put a background on um, so I mixed um, the two green colours here. So the green in my set is just called green. That's the dark green. Um, the lighter green was just a mix again of um, yellow and yellow green together. Uh, and maybe a little bit of olive green in there as well. Um, and what you do with this, because it's wet and wet, you just put one colour on. So I started with the pale green and then you just drop the dark green into it let it flow in that gives it that sort of out of focus effect um, and then I just did some kind of fine branches here and there um, just to give it a bit of kind of extra texture in the background um, and then I've gone back into the wing and I've started darkening that uh, again that's just with Payne's grey and sepia mixed together but a much darker um, mix lots more pigment and you go into the corners um, between feathers and things, put the dark corners in and then just blend to soften them outwards uh, and same along edges, like along the edges of the feathers I did the same thing, dark against the edge and then just blend uh, to soften it into the wing ok and then on the plant what I've done is I've added um, some darker raw sienna mixed with English red 
um, and I've tried to um, form some stripes going into the plant. And once you've done that, you can go back with a bit of sepia into the corners um, of the plant, and then you just blend out from the corners, um, and that softens it and uh, makes it look more realistic and a bit deeper, like like you've got some depth to the plant. Okay, the final stages of this then are really just similar to what you've been doing already, but just darkening everything up. So, yeah, much darker. You can see I've mixed black in with my mix um, for the body areas. Um, so that's really darkened that up. You can put little hints of um, brown, like uh, I think I use raw sienna again, into the uh, wing tips and um, feathers and things just to add a little bit. There's a, a bit of red. Um, goes in on his sort of um, uh, between his head and his wing uh, and then you've got uh, just strengthening of a lot of the colours like on his beak just going in a little bit darker with some of the green some of the red um, and then uh, same on the branch just going in strengthening it just gives it more contrast just stronger colours here and there um, the claws I've used um, black and you just leave the highlights as stark white paper um, and they look nice and crisp then uh, and then you can um, add dark green sort of foliage effects around the top edges top corner so it kind of um, frames it nicely uh, and kind of uh, makes the two can kind of stand out a bit more and then finally right at the end I just use some white acrylic for highlights so a little sort of twinkle in, it, in his eye um, along the top edge of the beak and things and it's just trying to soften it a little bit and then you can use it to pick out the top edge of the branch and the top edge of the feet that kind of thing okay um, thanks for watching and uh, if you like these kinds of videos uh, check out my other YouTube videos because I'm going to be posting lots of step-by-step -step, um, videos on here um, and hit subscribe and then anything new that I do in the future you'll be able to see straight away. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.